Okay, so now it is time to grow up everyone so we can get them moving out. Uh, it just feels like yesterday my little lemonade babies were born, but it's okay. Time to let them go. And Yasmin's first to age up. Oh, you actually care that they're growing up today, Charlotte? Charlotte usually goes to bed. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, we're not going to be able to really tell how her face really looks. Because she's a ghost and see-through. But I think she's pretty. I think her hair looks kind of odd. And her face grew up kind of like weird and stretched out. But I'm sure she's pretty. I'm sure she is. Okay, so because of her traits, she would be good for a firefighter. She would be a good firefighter. You know why? She could just float through the flames. I don't think ghosts can be set on fire, can they? I mean, they can float out the flame, right? I don't know. See, ghosts of wealthy spouse. Oh, that's that's dark. I, I think we're going to go with firefighter. I, I, <laughs> I can see her floating her way through the flames and not being hurt. So I think it would be a great job for her. I just want to put that down there. And now it's Yale's turn to grow up. So let's turn it around so we can see Yale. Oh, all the kids are home for school. Hey, babies. You made just in time for your brothers and sisters' birthday parties. One is missing. Where is one of you? Listen, just come inside. Make it mean miss his birthday. And he is eco-friendly. Wait a minute. He's grumpy, over-emotional, athletic, evil, and eco-friendly. Okay, if if you say so, my love. Okay, so I see Yasmin get married. Ugh. It's difficult to wait that long to wait for kids to get married. Uh, of course he wants to be evil. Uh, we're gonna go with it, Emperor of Evil, and that would put him on the evil branch. Of course it would. Okay, well, last we have Yancy. It's Yancy's birthday. And now all the brother sisters are watching. Yay. And then we'll get them moved out. We have to put some houses down too. Little houses, not big ones. He just walked away. He didn't care. Brody's mean. <laughs> okay, so now we get to pick um his last trait. A mooch. But he's a star in the making, right? They grew up handsome. They grew up handsome. We got lucky that there were still some good-looking men in this town. Um, let's see. Swimming in cash. A acrobat? I would like to see that. I would like to see that, for real. I would. Okay, so now they all know pretty much what they want to do for their careers. Now we, um, we're going to help them out with the job stuff. We're going to have to put uh, these two on a computer to actually do the professions. Because uh, they don't have the cheat for that um, on the mailbox. So let's go to Jaws of Professions, find profession. Thank goodness she already went to a computer. Is she doing schoolwork or not? She's probably playing um, chess. What's going on here? Vince has a new girlfriend. That's nice. They're going steady. Oh, another wedding that we will not be invited to. Because our children are so rude to us. It's true. Uh, they just came home from school. Don't they have homework? She has an A. <gasps> Do they all have A's? Uh-oh, you the only one? Dang it. Okay, forget your homework. Get onto a computer. Do, do the, uh, extra credit. Don't, don't pay attention to his birthday. Uh, I didn't realize they were all gonna come home pretty much with A's. That, that's exciting. That makes me happy. Uh, let's set his career. He's doing the evil stuff. So, here's Criminal. He'll be in the evil branch. We'll make him a henchman. After she's done looking for a profession, she can also, um, I guess, help set everybody to move out. Or he can, because we got to put a house down anyway. And, what well, he wants to be an acrobat, right? Acrobat. Acrobat. There you go. I just hate that they give them such awful names. Let's do that one. That's fine. Now, I'm going to quickly go edit the town. So we can go put a house down for our kids that are about to move out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, but the world's getting kind of full. I'm glad that I did put down some houses before that uh, my kids could use if they ever want to move into. But honestly, none of them look empty anymore. Like, as you remember, last time I put in like a lot of new houses and it looks like they are all filled up. So maybe that's why her kids wasn't able to um, move into a house. I haven't had time 
to put more houses down. Uh, I'll probably have to do that soon because the town is really... There's room if you just move the trees and rocks around. There's space. There is. Then again, they haven't said that um, Joalis and Aaron haven't moved in a while. Like, maybe they moved and then didn't send us a link about it, which would be silly. Like, why didn't you leave us, like, a little message saying, they finally moved. Thanks for putting down a house, Mom. You know, but sometimes they don't do that. Um, we're moving. We're moving within this neighborhood. Do you have an A, yes, sweetie? Do you know how mother's heart aches for you to have an A? I want you to get off that computer and come over here, please. All my little lemonade babies, come here because you're moving out. You're going over here. No reason to take out money because Charlotte has been getting $10,000. For what reason? I'm still not sure why. I know I messed around with the mods and stuff like that. And I know it said something about the household was considered um, that like it had too much money to be getting child support. Because technically, even though the money's hidden in the bank, she had like over $200,000. And I think I said it for that. If a sim has more than $50,000, that sim's considered rich. And that's when all of a sudden child support like started to not show up anymore so i think that's why it disappeared it's not conflicting mods because i had all the mods in at the same time i just wasn't using them from the very beginning but now it's time to say goodbye to our kids and i hate the rain because it echoes wait really they still haven't been able to sell to a home you know what that actually really makes me sad i want to help them I honestly really, really do. Uh, three's a crowd. Who's on the day here? Didn't realize, be hugged by who? No. Did she get an A yet? She don't get hugged till she get an egg. Fine, she got egg. Fine, she got egg. She finally got egg. Everyone to the middle of the dance floor, please. Children, I love you all so much. And it's your birthday. What's going on here? Tristan has gotten with Lori now? Wait a minute, they got into a heated argument, something definitely missed. Because he's, like, sleeping with, like, three of Charlotte's daughters, not in, not even including Charlotte. Like, come on. Uh, like, he's been with so many of her kids. Uh, she wants to see them grow up well. Well, let's grow up one so we can have space for the, uh, to put the next one down so we can get points for it. Because you know how I love points. In fact, where are, I think you, which one is the other A twin, pretty much? We had the A twins and we had the B twins. I can never remember who you are, although I love you dearly. You all start to look alike. You know, after 50 odd children, it's hard to tell them all apart. Wait, Yasmin got a puppy? Oh, that's cute. I thought about to say she had a man. I'm like, she just moved out. How's that possible? <laughs> And she wants to go to prom. And she's a heavy sleeper. That's not me. I'm not a heavy sleeper. If it's too cold or something, I wake up immediately. But now we got room for everyone to grow up. Uh, we already set her to grow up. So we got set up for Brandy and set up for Brody. They are definitely going to prom them. I cannot imagine them moving out the house before Thursday. I think she'd be pretty, but her hairstyle is like kind of weird. She has futuristic clothing. She's super thick with it, though, but she needs more boobies. <laughs> Ooh, he froze right in midair, and then he stretched out weird. Ooh, I kind of like his hairstyle. He's a dog person. Okay. Ooh, handsome. All right, so we got two more girls growing up today. Wants a job? No, nope. we already discussed. Your job is being a child and getting good grades. Okay, Nika, you're growing up now, hun. Uh, Jason. I don't know who you are, but somehow you're related to me now. So this is someone who married into the family, and now they're trying to talk to Charlotte. I'll talk just because I want to figure out who the heck they are. Right. We slept with him and had a child, and then he slept with our child. That's that's who he is. Okay, so now I remember. No sense of humor. Damn, Anika. Grumpy, loner, computer with no sense of humor. That, that wasn't my friend, but okay. 
I could I name that sim after a girl I used to know in high school. That was not her, but okay. Okay, now it's time for Brandy to grow up. This is the last birthday for the day. Uh, it's kind of late. They're kind of tired. I may not put them on the computer tonight. I may just send them to bed. They wake up early. They can do work. She's friendly. Okay. I kind of like her outfit. I kind of like hers, too. I kind of like all these kids' outfits. She had to be the op ball. Wait a minute. Where did she go? She's already on the computer. You know what I want you to do? With your last of your energy, I want you to work out. <laughs> Charlotte's still on the phone. No, leave him alone. He's dating your child now. It's gross. It's, it's way gross, okay? Yeah, he's married to Wanda. Who? He married to Wanda. He's married to Wanda, okay? I knew he was dating one of our kids. Um, now that there's room in the house, though, uh, we need to use that man find app. When did she get a soda? Okay, that homework's old, so don't need to do that. Uh, I'm sending her to go work out. Uh, in fact, why don't all the kids work out? Honestly, get some skill points or something. Do something productive with yourselves. Because they're not really that tired. You know what I mean? And I'll send them all to get, like, all washed up. In fact, I'll put them over here. Because then he's closer to his bedroom. And that just makes life easier on everyone. Charlotte, however, needs to go catch a man. Because we need to go get inseminated again. <laughs> I'm awful. Um, Sim finding app. We just need a male. It doesn't matter what his age is or his sign. He just needs to be cute. Provide me with cute men, please. He's coming right over now? Okay. I just realized he's coming over here and, like, my kids are gonna see him. Like, that's, this is awkward. At least I'm putting it all out there. Like, these are my kids running on the treadmill like, um, guinea pigs. Hi. Thank you. Where, where is this guy? Cause he said he'd be right over. If, if he doesn't get here in 30 minutes, is he free? Ooh, ghost. Ooh. I have a baby with you. Felix. Oh, that's my son. Oops, never mind. Anyway, where this man at? There's a dog. Well, there was a dog. I'm not crazy. I saw the dog. But for real, where's the guy? I was gonna, like, get laid tonight. It was gonna be awesome. Wait. Oh, is this him coming on a bicycle? Oh, no. Our date flies. Ooh, but he has blue wings. Are you handsome? Mmm. He's kind of handsome. He's kind of handsome. He has freckles. That's cute. I do like the fact that he's a fairy and has blue wings. So let's um, mas use our master. Oh, we can use eye candy on him. Oh, we can. Wow, everything just leads to sex. That sounds about right. I'm going to like give him a little like winkity wink. Be like, hey, you're cute. Oh, I saw a uh, new motorcycle. Those are dangerous, honey. Hope you know that motorcycles are dangerous. Technically, it's a scooter, but still, it's dangerous. We're gonna like wink at him, tell him that we think he's kind of cute, you know. Butter him up, invite him inside, and all that. But they kicking people out the house though. Dang, she an old lady. You just kicking around? That's rude. We did invite him inside, so we're gonna use our master of seduction. To woohoo and try for a baby with him. Because he's living and breathing. And that's all we need. I'm ignoring that phone call. It just, you know, guarantees that he figures out I'm a hoe and get booty calls this late at night. Come on, let's try and make a baby, please. Thank you, sir. So where are we going to make this baby? One of the showers? Let's not break it so it doesn't ruin things for the kids. Let's have a baby in either this shower or that shower. Okay? Let's not break one of the ones the kids are using. Oh, Jada got promoted. Good for Jada. Girls are looking good working out. They're looking kind of thin over there. I don't like that so much. They're starting to smell a little bit. It's okay, though. They need skills. I Like, I used to have my children work out all the time. They never work out anymore. Wait a minute. What? What? Wait. Wait. What? What? Wait. Hold on. What? 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 Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to pause. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Um. 
um, <laughs> I know he's a fairy. So the fairies can shrink and go into the uh, fairy house. I didn't know humans could. When did she become magical? Did he like sprinkle some type of dust on her that made her magical just long enough so that she can pop into the fairy house, get laid, and then pop back out and then never re-enter? Can humans enter the fairy house? No, they can view it. That's it. How is she getting laid in here? How is it possible for her to morph into a teeny tiny sprite to go into the fairy house? This makes no sense. But you know what? Physics doesn't count in The Sims 3, apparently. So, okay. Okay. We're gonna go with this. She has powers for like 10 seconds just to get pregnant. And it worked. Oh my gosh. Can she like get a nice rest in there? Or now that she's uh, been planted with her the seed. And he, we can't even make him leave now. Oh, but she can go back in there and woohoo him. Oh, I bet she can. Um, It's late now, kids. I want you to all go take showers and whatnot. And then get to bed. Make sure they all go to bed after this. My poor, poor sleepy babies. No, not make coffee. Not make coffee. She still wants to go to prom. Like, my kids just turned into teenagers and already they're like, oh my god, prom is the most wonderful thing. It's all I ever wanted. It's like, you didn't care about prom like literally three hours ago. And all of a sudden you're like, prom crazy. That's what I don't understand about them like right now. That's what I don't understand. Like, they didn't care about prom. They never thought like, oh, I'll never get to go to a prom. Like so many of Charlotte's other kids. Oh, Charlotte, you're not going to go to bed. Um, We're going to um give birth now. Then again, Charlotte is tired. Maybe she should give birth when she has more energy. Yeah, let's let Charlotte give birth when she has more energy. We'll send her back to bed if she wakes up. Yeah, you go back to bed, Charlotte. You you worry about um having babies later. I still can't believe he just went in there and went to sleep, and he's really not coming back out. He for real isn't. Is the children's music playing? I'm just curious. No, it's not. She's going to have to listen to some of that then when she wakes up, too. Did you all get your showers and stuff, sweetie? And you need to go to bed. And then when you wake up, who broke what? Who broke it? Why? Our son did. He broke it. It's not his fault. They break all the time, obviously. When they wake up, they're all going to be hungry. I'm just going to set them up with stuff to eat. Okay, so I was sleeping. So we'll be back when it's time for everyone to wake up. Charlotte still wanted to throw birthday parties for children who don't live with her. Okay. Okay, so it's the middle of the night and our son got so hungry, he decided it's time for me to wake up and get something to eat. You could have slept a little bit longer. Uh, I might as well let them wake up and eat then, because they're going to make a fuss about it, I'm sure. But after this, you're going back to bed, though. I want them well rested for school so they can get some work done. Charlotte is actually almost awake now. I, I want her to come in here. I want her to listen to the children's music. I want her to watch the children's TV. Uh, you gonna come eat, babe, or nah? Honey, hungry or no? You have to make decisions about this, hun. I know it's like, you know, a race to the fridge. Who's gonna get there first? Oh my gosh, just eat already. Did he adopt the pet because he know he can't handle women? That's why he like cheated on like four of my kids, plus Charlotte. <laughs> I'm just being real. That That's really what happened. He was like sleeping with everybody. <laughs> you know what? My kids would probably do f much, much better if they didn't have to go to school. Like if I delete the town, they would just be homeschooled though. And it would make things such a breeze. Life would be so easy, so wonderful. Oh, you're going to come and sit next to mom? That's nice. That's so sweet. We're going to watch the children's channel together then. Because you came and sat next to mommy, now you're mommy's favorite. No, not really. There's far too many of you to have a favorite. <laughs> That's mean. It's true, though. When you have that many kids, you really can't have a favorite. You can't distinguish one from the other. Uh, but when she's done eating, I do want her to go back to bed. Even if it just means getting in a couple of hours nap, she should go to bed. And then tomorrow is actually prom, which is pretty cool. I think it's like this is like my third set of kids to go to prom. I'm not sure. Either my third or my fourth. Like, a lot of my kids did not go to prom, but we did have some batches that went. I know Sam went to prom, right? I'm pretty sure Sam went to prom. 
Still no house to sell it into? I want to help them. Where the, the, where the fuck do they live? Because now I'm about to like go and find them so I can help them. I, I really feel like it's not fair that they can't find homes. Wait, this is the Humphrey Golf. There's Aaron. Wait, Aaron don't even live with Joe Alice? Okay, where the heck is Joe Alice then? Okay, we found him. He's still living in the golf house. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of overcrowding in these teeny tiny houses. Okay, is that Joe Alice? Yeah, there's Joe Alice. Move her out. They're married and they don't live together. That's insane. Like, that's really, really crazy. But I want to help her, though. I don't I don't think it's right that they don't live together. And he's still living with his parents. That's that's just cold and cruel. And how much money she have? How much? She, he only got $10,000. That's not a lot of money. They're probably going to have to move into a very small house, just like the ones we pretty much built. I'm not even sure if they can afford the little house. We'll see. We'll put it right on the end here. Can he afford the little house? Yeah, he can. We'll move her in. Now they can finally be together. I feel good that I've helped them. And technically, Charlotte didn't use any of her money to like do it or nothing. That was their money that they got when they moved out. So they finally live together. Please procreate now. Please. So I don't have to worry about them not being happy because it's not fair. I want my children to be happy. You know what? I'm going to start labor. Charlotte never goes into labor anymore, like a normal labor. She never goes to hospitals anymore. Phew, that was close. Oh, she just got over her little rebelliousness. I was not worried about it because I was just going to pop her in the mouth. She get over it once you slap them in the mouth. They forget about it. Boys, too. It works great for them as well. Yay, you learned. You age up now. On the toilet. Do it now. I don't care how evil you are. You still going to get this homework done.